So this is perhaps the laziest studio vlog you will ever watch. Your opportunity, your opportunity, it's your opportunity, it's your opportunity. I do have a couple orders that I need to pack and get shipped out today and so I felt like why not just answer a couple of questions while I'm packing those orders and getting them sent out. So this video is really just me trying to get some orders out but me also trying to catch up on questions that you all have been asking that I have not gotten the opportunity to answer. And so if you are new here, my name is Shanice and I do operate a stationery shop called Shanice DK Designs. But in this channel, or I should say on this channel, I do talk all things business and marketing. So if that is something you are into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stick around. We would love to have you as a part of this growing community. I can't believe we're almost at 10K. So go ahead and not only like this video, but subscribe and help us to get to that 10K goal. So in the intro, as I said, we're going to be packing orders and also answering a couple of questions in this video. Some questions are going to relate to KDP and then other questions um, relate to just my the other side of my stationary business, which is um, selling sticky notes, notepads, affirmation magnets, and I ship most of those products from home. So I have two sections of my business. One is mostly print on demand and the other are products that I do take some pride in, create them, design them, and then I ship them from my home. And so uh, that's, that's actually one of my favorite parts of my small business is getting to pack each order. And I love when I get reviews and people are like, oh my gosh, packaging was so cute or just little things like that. So that's what I'm doing today. Before we hop into the questions and the packing orders, I did want to show you all a new sticky note and notepad that I created. I feel like I also created a journal to go with it, but I'm actually not sure because I haven't opened this as yet and I don't remember what's inside. Um, so this is the sticky note. And then I haven't unboxed the notepad and then this is the notepad. So they both say boss and then um, in between the boss it says bold, opportunity driven, savvy and successful. And so I feel like this is going to be a part of my relaunch for my January line where I want to start focusing more on products geared towards business owners, geared towards entrepreneurs, geared, to geared towards just, you know, people are creative and trying to make a living from their creativity. So. I think it's really cute. I don't know. And I think this is going to be my color for 2024. Like every year I try to choose a color that's just going to inspire me throughout the year. And I think this is my color. So I'm actually excited. Um, and let me know what you think of those in the comments. So yeah, let's see what's in this. As I said, I don't remember what I made and ordered. I know it's a journal because journals come in this packaging, but I'm actually not sure what it is. Um, but it's probably the boss journals. <laughs> it is the boss journals. I know because I can see the little color peeping out. I wonder how they came out. Oh, so cute. Isn't that just adorable? I completely forgot that I made these because usually what I do when I'm creating a new product is I get a few and I test it out, see how it looks. And then I list it usually on the website and then do like a pre-order. And then if somebody orders it, I have like one to two um, already at home that I can ship out while I wait to order more. So that's usually how I do things is I put it up as a pre-order just so I don't buy a lot of inventory. That's also one of the benefits of purchasing products that are made in the US because you can order small amounts versus having to get products made overseas and then you have to buy big batches or you have to just get a small sample but it takes so long to get here that in order to actually sell it you do need to buy large batches anyway so that's one advantage about getting products in the US although it's a little bit more expensive so these are the boss journals and then the boss sticky note and of course the boss notepad <gasps> super cute so hopefully i get these up on the website let me know your thoughts on them um i only bought two journals so if, if you know i might put like five so the first two will ship immediately but then the other three i'm probably gonna have to put like a delayed shipping on it because it would be a pre-order but these are just so cute can't believe these just been like sitting in my box for like a month and i didn't even open them but anyways well, the first question we're going to answer today says, 
so they never gave you your kdp account back <laughs> so the short answer to this question is no they never gave me the kdp account back and the long answer to the question is of course they didn't give me the kdp account back why would they because when you think about it i made over sixty seven thousand dollars in one month selling a lined journal and i did so when my book was discounted and that's an important piece of information that i mean i feel like a lot of people haven't caught on to is that my book was selling at a lower price so i still got paid my same amount of royalties as if it was being sold at the original price but the book to the customers was discounted heavily and so another thing i like to share with people is that books go on sale literally all the time I shared this in one of my other videos and I've had several people who comment and tell me like hey my book is on sale and I've even gone ahead and purchased books from people who've told me hey my book is on sale as well like at the time when my book was really doing well like after January my book was trending with some other low content creators and people would tag me on Facebook saying hey my book is on sale and your book is right here like support like black women that support each other and I would go and purchase other people's books and their books would never do as well as mine the reason is I had systems in place to make sure that when my book went on sale, I could leverage that. The systems of my business was already in place, right? Versus other people who are just on KDP. All you're doing is you're just on KDP. You don't have any marketing systems in place. You don't have anything external to Amazon KDP. And so even if your book goes on sale, nobody is going to notice and no one is going to purchase because no one knows who you are, right? So that is a difference between my book and many other books on Amazon KDP. So so my belief is that that came as a shock to Amazon. They did not expect that I had those systems in place to leverage the sale that went on my book. And so I made a lot of money that they were not expecting me to make. So here's an additional piece of information on this same topic. The additional piece of information is the fact that they take two months to check your money, to check your sales so much so that if someone sends back a book they deduct it from the money that you should get paid out so if we're talking about a company that holds on to your money for two months and deducts any returns so any books that get returned they take that out of your payout this is the company we're talking about this company is not going to let go sixty seven thousand dollars just because right so after two months of checking there was nothing they could do because I literally earned that money legitimately. And so they paid me out what I earned. Would they keep me on their platform to make to see if I earned more? No. And the reason I say no is because when that book sold so much, it sold over 30,000 copies, they could not put that book back to the original price. So my book stayed at a discounted price for the months following January. So in January, it sold for about 97 cents, but after January, it was on sale for about $4 and it never went back up to the original price. And you see that often with books. Like if you go to Amazon right now, and you look at some of the best-selling books a lot of best-selling books are not being sold at their original price right they're being sold at a discounted price and it's very rare that best-selling books are going to go back up to an original price and that's partially because they have so much inventory that they cannot try to go back to sell that book for that price because they need to consider they need to continually and consistently move that inventory and so you know a lot of things probably went into play it probably just felt like a better decision for them to not you know have my business on their platform anymore and that's okay um but yeah that's all i'm gonna say on that i just wanted to address that part of it because i saw some comments about oh let me know what trick you use i didn't use any trick all i did was use system and these systems are what i teach here on my channel as well as what i teach in my one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching and consulting sessions so if you've booked a session with me i'm literally telling you everything that i did right that's what i do in my sessions i talk to you ask me questions and i answer your questions honestly and that's what i do here on this channel as well i answer your questions honestly and so I have systems and I've actually tailored it down to a very simple three-step process that I'm using to set up my other businesses. And I'm also going to share that with you in a course that I'm creating for January. And so be on the lookout for that. 
subscribe to the newsletter that is going to be in my description for updates on that course. And so the course is gonna be one way that you can get my marketing system um, another way that you can get my marketing marketing system is by booking a consultation with me. So those are two ways that you can get the exact system that I use to promote my book, which was actually another question that was asked. So it said, can you share a video of your promotional journey? And so what I will say to this is a lot of what I talk about here on my channel is my promotional journey. It's not all in one video because if it's all in one video, why are you going to purchase my services, which is how I'm able to sustain myself, right? So, but a lot of what I've done is here on the channel sprinkled throughout many different videos, especially if you watch some of my older videos and you kind of just, um, you know, if you follow my business journey in some of my older videos, you'll be able to just kind of um, figure out my strategy and figure out how I've promoted my books and pretty much figure out my system. But of course it would take you doing some studying of me. So you can either study some of my older videos or you can sign up for the newsletter and purchase my course when it drops in January, or you can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one, um, chat, which is going to open back up in January as well. And so that is what I would say to that question is that my promotional journey is on my channel. It's just sprinkled throughout a number of videos as opposed to one video. Um, and so, Hope that answers your question. We're gonna go ahead and pack a couple of orders um, and then I'm gonna jump back into the other question. <laughs> so this order has a couple different things in there. So this first sticky note that they ordered is the Ask, Believe, Receive sticky note. This is actually one of my favorite sticky notes um, and it just reminds you to not, to one, have faith, but two, to put whatever you want out into the universe, right? So ask and it shall be given to you. Knock, the door shall be open. Seek and you shall find. Like that's literally my mantra, what I go by. So my favorite sticky note right here. I typically stamp all of my sticky notes. Um, so they are original post-it notes just the best quality i've tried other brands before but i found that this is the best quality which is something else you learn as you're doing product-based businesses right so your first set of products you're probably going to realize something that can be improved and then you try to find a supplier that offers you what you need and so this i feel is the best quality of sticky notes out there um and so that's why i continuously use this although it costs me a little bit more than other ones that i've tried the second one they ordered is our melanated and motivated sticky note in pink and this one is already packaged this is the stamp i used before but i felt like it was just too small so i actually switched to a bigger stamp um so that's fine the next one they ordered is our just blessed and this one i'm not sure if i'm restocking the just blessed i'm probably just gonna keep it for um Wholesale orders, I do currently have a wholesale order of 25 of these that I need to ship out this week. And so I think I'm just gonna keep these for wholesale. I'm probably not gonna restock those. So they are sold out currently on my website. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna stock those again. The next one they ordered, hopefully I have some here because I don't feel like getting up, is our, um, it's one of our inspirational sticky notes. I don't remember what it says. It's not, like lately it's become one of my best sellers, but traditionally it's not a best seller. Um, I probably don't have any, I probably do need to get up. Okay, so I didn't have any, I had to get up. Um, but it says, you're always one decision away from a completely different life. So true. <laughs> So it's not one of my best sellers, at least traditionally it hasn't been, but this person ordered two of them. Um, let me see. So these, these all already have stamps on them. So I just need to put them in the bags. Um, so let's see, what's the next question? So we're gonna answer another question while I package these up. So this question says, um, do these platforms accept Africans? I need answers, please. So if you're referring to platforms where you can self-publish books, then the short answer is yes. They do accept you regardless of where you live. So that's one good thing um, is that they do accept you regardless of where you live. However, the issue arises when it concerns getting your payment. So that's where I've, I've found that a lot of people have issues is when it comes to getting their payment, a lot of the platforms don't 
have systems in place to pay you directly or maybe where you live don't have um, access to certain banks or banking features that will allow you to get paid by a direct deposit so a lot of people do use payoneer if I'm pronouncing that correctly as a way to get paid out so I would say figure out how you're gonna get paid first so figure out pay on air or how you can set that up or if you can open a bank account in another country that allows you to have like a US bank account or a foreign bank account so I would say figure that out first before getting on the platforms but yes you can get on the platform regardless of where you live you just need to figure out how you're going to get paid so if there's someone else who lives in another country who you've got this all figured out I would say you can perhaps um, ask it again in the comments and maybe someone will be able to answer or if you know a better answer to this you can perhaps provide that answer for this person in the comment of this video um, but I just wanted to give you my two cents on it <laughs> but of course I live in the States so I'm not sure you know of an exact answer for you this video would be a lot more interesting if you could actually see what I'm doing <laughs> which is why I'm trying not to make it way too boring or way too long. So I'm definitely probably going to cut this out. But now I have all five um, packaged and ready to go. So I just need to quickly double check. So two of these, one of this, one of this, one of this. Okay. The other thing the person ordered is a set of affirmation magnets. Now currently on my website, I have four different styles. So I sell them individually for about $5 each. And then I sell the set of four, I think for like $16. But now I have 50% off of everything on my website. So right now the set of affirmation magnets is about $8 ish. And then there's some shipping. Um, so I've um, so with the affirmation magnets right now I get them pre-made and it's been a lot easier for me when I first launched these I was actually hand making them so I would buy magnets from Amazon I would print um, the quotes on paper I would laminate it and then I would put it onto the magnet and then one time I got a wholesale order for like 200 magnets and I was going crazy like I literally handmade 200 magnets and after doing that I was just like I'm never doing this again like I never ever want to make another magnet handmade ever again and so I figured out a way to get them without hand making them um, and I've been thinking that I should really create more magnets especially magnets with motivation for business owners I wonder if this sticks on my computer it doesn't stick on my computer but <laughs> That was kind of dumb, but I've been thinking to make more magnets with quotes for business owners um, and then that way I can um, put more of them on my side because I do enjoy making these and these are so low cost like I make such a huge profit on them um, and so these are, this is the first one it says I am open to learning new things starting fresh and making positive changes in my life. The next one says, I am committed to giving my time, energy, and peace to those who value me. The next one says, I am allowing room for joy, healing, peace, and love. And then the last one says, I have faith in the goodness that lies ahead. So these are the four magnets. Um, and so the next thing I need to do I also need to do this to prepare for a wholesale order because I did get a wholesale order of the magnets. Um, she ordered about 25 of them um, and I do send them individually packed. So with a wholesale, I do offer individual packaging or group packaging. This customer wanted individual packaging. Right now, I don't charge anything extra for individual packaging, but I probably should. <laughs> So with the individual packaging, it takes me a little work. So I have a cut cutting board and then I have um, the backing for the for the magnets. At least that's what I call them. So usually I have six on each, but I had to cut my printer early because it was printing way too many. I forgot to like change the quantity, but I usually just cut it down and then um, put it in. So I'm going to do that and I might cut this out. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like and then I have my stamp on the back and then I just put the magnets in there and then even this up a bit and so that's kind of what it looks like at the end usually it's cut a bit better but um, I think I need to change my printer settings because 
this printer, I don't know. I don't know. I need two more printer settings, but so that is the final. And then I have her sticky notes. And this order is not super big. So it should work. Usually I have these shipping bags. I have this one. Um, and then I have so I have three sizes of these, and then I also have boxes for orders that need to go in a box. Um, this is actually not going to work, so I'm going to put them in here. Sometimes I use boxes, but boxes cost more. <laughs> like it costs a lot more to ship in boxes, so I try not to use boxes when I don't have to. And then, of course, you got to add a little bit of crinkly paper, whatever they're called. Usually I add it before I take off the sticky part. Um, and then the last thing I put in all my orders is of course a, um, so typically most people put like a business card, but what I've done is instead of putting a business card, I put a bookmark just so that they're able to have something useful, right? So a business card, you're probably going to throw it away. Like people are not going to put random business cards like in their purse, right? They're probably going to throw it away, but at least with a bookmark, they keep it, they use it to, to, to read. Like if you read, which I'm thinking if you're ordering stationery, you probably read, um, so this is the front of the bookmark. It just has um, affirmations on there. And then the back, I have thank you. I give a 10% coupon so that, you know, I'm in encouraging people to come back to my shop. And then, of course, I have QR code. So if they do want to share my shop with someone, it's really easy. They can just scan the QR code. So I usually put that in every order and then um, close it up. And since I'm packing a couple, what I typically do is write the name on there and then later on I print all the labels at once. So thank you, girly. Okay, so those are the first three orders, even though I only packed one on camera because I actually started before I started filming. So the next order is a gift. I'm not sure if they have a gift message in there, but I'll do that later. So they ordered my OG sticky notes. And I call this my OG sticky note because this sticky note went viral on TikTok twice. Between the two videos, over a million views on this same sticky note. It's one of my faves. Um, so it's 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 my OG sticky note. It's one of the first ones that I created, and it's made me the most money. Like I've sold. I remember I put in like a I put in a um, I set up a pre order listing on Etsy which in Etsy doesn't really allow pre-orders. So what I did was I put that I'm going to ship this out in two weeks. And then in the title, I put pre-order and I sold like 700. Like <laughs> I've sold so many of these sticky notes. This is my OG sticky note. It's my favorite one. I don't know if I'm going to bring it back when it gets sold out in the shop though. That's one thing um, because I actually created this before I knew a lot about um, creating sticky notes. So this was, as I said, one of my first ones. So if you look at it, this is like one of the most popular images on Canva. Like I didn't, it didn't take me a whole lot, but what made this stand out is really the background color, right? This is something that people have never really seen before. And it was just the right time. Like my marketing on this sticky note was just the right time. And sometimes it's really hard to get a marketing campaign that just works, right? Which is why people just make, especially now you like, you make a lot of videos because it's hard to find the perfect, perfect marketing campaign. But I found it twice for this product and both times it, it killed. As I said, I didn't even have it in stock. Like the first time this sold out, I literally had only bought 10. I had only bought 10 and that night I sold a hundred. Imagine having 10 in your garage and you sold a hundred. It's ridiculous. It's, it, listen, it was a whole, it was a whole lituation, but that's my, that's my OG sticky note, my OG sticky note. So, um, they ordered my OG sticky note and then they ordered, um, a melanated and motivated, which is this one in yellow. So I'm not going to close this package up just because I need to double check and make sure that they don't have like a gift message to put in there. Because I do like to make sure that if they have a gift message, I do like to make sure that I print the gift message and put it in there. My famous bookmark. And I know bookmarks can be expensive, but I've found a way to make these at low cost. 
and so that is how i'm able to it's actually a lot cheaper than getting standard business cards um and that's just a little secret i'm not even going to drop my little secret i can't just be giving away everything here on youtube but <laughs> Um, what I do actually I'm just gonna give it away it don't matter so what I do is I purchase um, four by six I don't know what they call these but I purchase it in four by six and so I get two on each and then I just cut cut it and then I turn this into two bookmarks as opposed to one four by six card so if I purchase a hundred of these in reality I'm getting 200 bookmarks which means I can put these in 200 orders so that's what I do um, that's just that's just what I do that's my little trick so we're gonna answer a couple more questions and then we're gonna pack the last order so this question says how do you print how do you ship printed journals to sell from your home so there are a couple of ways that you can do this how I do it is I use a US based supplier and so with my US based supplier which I've shared in another video I use Vista print there are lots of different suppliers that you can use there's got print there is um, print one two three or something like that there's sticker mule which and i don't know if sticker mule sells journals but they sell of course stickers um and different things like that i've also purchased ma um keychains from sticker mule so this is a keychain that was made based on the affirmation magnets that i sell and so i purchased this from sticker mule so so there are a lot of different us based printer printing shops or printing companies even canva has um, their own printing where you can create something in canva and get it printed you just have to see what the cost on something like that is so a number of different us based printing shops that you can use i use us space because as i said i don't want to purchase a lot of inventory all at once but if you're doing something like a special made planner of course you're going to want to go outside the us because it's going to be a lot cheaper for you but if you're doing something that you can easily order 10 and you don't mind the cut in profits then i would recommend using a us based supplier so i use a us based supplier vista print and so what i do is depending on the product i order a small amount so i'll order like five to ten or if i'm trying out something i may order like two because they do allow you to order even one depending on the product so i order a small amount and then i kind of see how the orders are coming in if it's something that i realize okay it's christmas now my affirmation magnets are selling a lot right so i'm ordering more affirmation magnets because i've i've seen the uptick in those sales if it's a particular sticky note like when i had my best-selling sticky note at first I only had 10 but I saw that this like my video was going viral so then I ordered like a hundred and I ordered like 200 500 so that is what I do when you have a US based supplier you can order more inventory based on the demand and so I order um, inventory based on demand and I keep it in my home so before when I was living in my other house I was shipping out of my garage so my garage was like a whole fulfillment center but at that time I was like heavy running my shop like I was heavy on TikTok, heavy on like Instagram like really really promoting my products now I'm not doing that so much right now I'm just kind of letting Etsy bring me some sales whenever they bring me some sales but in January I'm gonna pick that back up with you know being heavy on my TikTok, you know heavy promoting my products um, and so when you're heavy promoting your products you're gonna see which products are trying or you can make a product trend by simply talking more about that particular product um, and that way you can order inventory based on demand and so that's what I do order inventory based on demand and then I set shipping days so typically yeah, that would be like a Saturday today's Tuesday but I'm shipping today because it's just been a whole long week but um, I set a shipping day and then I typically um, ship orders that I receive on that day so you just have to create a system especially if you have a full-time job you just need to create a system to package orders and get them shipped out um, I have Etsy but in the past as I said when I was like heavy running my shop I also had my website so I would drive customers to my website and I would let Etsy bring me traffic to Etsy but now that I'm not like heavy running my um, my stationery shop I'm just operating on Etsy so if you go to my website I don't have any products on there so I'm just selling the products that I have on Etsy but typically what I do is I have Etsy for Etsy and then I have my own personal website because I make more money when people purchase through my website so that's what I do but there are a number of different ways that you can do it Vista print does also offer like a program where you can just put the order in Vista print and they ship it directly to your customer um, as you can see in the when I was opening my earlier package they ship it with 
just you know it doesn't say any like it doesn't say vista print on there it doesn't say anything on there so the customer will never know where it comes from they'll probably think it comes directly from you what i like to do though is i like to add my own branding to my products as you can see so i want to put a stamp on the back i want to put it in a in a little bag i want to add um you know like add my business card in there so because i want to do those extra things i do not ship straight to my customers from Vistaprint, but they do offer that if that is something you are interested in. All right, one more question and then we're gonna pack the last order and then wrap up. So I guess I already answered this question before putting it on here, but the question was, what company do you use to print and ship your products? I've been trying to find a company that does to, that does this to make it more passive. So the company that I use right now is Vistaprint, um, but as I said, um, they do have a way to make it more passive where you can just plug the orders in Vistaprint and they ship it right to your customers if you don't want to do the shipping at home. So they do offer that. Of course, you have um, platforms like Printify, like this journal that I created. So my choice is to go Vistaprint and get it at my house and then personalize it with just my business card so my customers can feel like, whoa, this is cute, this is nice, right? But you could do something like this on um, Printify, right? So you could set up an Etsy shop. You could do like a Printify. It's just that you're gonna have to sell this for a little bit more just so you can make some money, right? So you might need to sell this for 17, and then the customer has to pay for shipping. Where if I'm selling this right now, I do sell these for about 15. Uh, but if, depending on your order, like if your order is 35, then you get free shipping. So it's like you know, but you might not be able to do that with with like Printify. But you can do it. It is possible. So. You could set up like a Printify. Um, I've also showed you guys that I print journals with Lulu. So in my other video where I told you guys that I'm, I'm printing wire bounded journals with Lulu. So you could do this with something like Lulu. Like you could, and this is just a lined journal. Um, so there are a number of different options that you can choose from and choose what works best for you. And so the last question is, and, and this person was so nice. They said, great video. The Lord is with you. Yes, he is. <laughs> May I get um, a coaching session with you on another day Saturdays are not good for me um, and so in January I hope to have other days available right now I only had Saturdays just because well before I had Saturdays and Thursdays but then I changed the jobs and then I had to go just to Saturdays but in January I'm planning to have more days how am I gonna make that happen I'm not so sure yet but <laughs> it's gonna happen so in January I'm gonna try to have more days but things are going to be a little bit different with my business so if you didn't see my post I did make a post here on YouTube sharing with you all that I'm actually gonna move a lot of the marketing conversations to my company called work session as you know my coaching sessions I call them work sessions because when you come and you talk with me we're literally doing work like I'm walking you through stuff I'm screen sharing your screen sharing I'm teaching you skills like those are what my sessions have previously been and so I'm still gonna continue those those are gonna be my consulting sessions where you can consult right so ask me questions I can show you things teach you things and those are gonna be at a higher price point I'm also going to have Q&A sessions where I'm not showing you anything. You're, I'm just literally answering your question. So you ask me a question, I give you the answer. These Q&A sessions are going to be email based, text based, or we can hop on a call. So um, those are two things that's going to be available. So again, you have the consulting, which are going to be longer sessions, and those are going to cost a little bit more than the $55 um, that we have previously had. But I'm also going to have the Q and A sessions that can be phone, text, or email, and these are going to be a little cheaper than the fifty-five dollars, um, just because the time is also going to be a little bit cheap, a little bit shorter than the thirty minutes. So these Q and A sessions are going to be twenty minutes. Of course, the email is going to be a twenty-four hour response time. The text is going to be a twenty-four hour response time, um, but those are going to be available at a cheaper price point. And then I'm going to have coaching, but the coaching is actually going to be tied to my course. So if you take my course, I'm going to offer the coaching to you free. So um, I'm offering you the coaching because coaching is really, you guys, I'm certified in coaching. So this is kind of why I need to really make the distinction in this video. But <laughs> as a certified coach, <laughs> 
let me stop playing with y'all but um, coaching is really someone walking you through something not teaching you a skill but walking you through a time in your life or walking you through an event or walking you through achieving a goal when I say walking you through I mean like they're there to support you they're there to listen to you maybe offer some feedback but not really giving you advice not really giving you um, like a what I think you should do. So coaching is not a what I think you should do. Coaching is being your accountability partner, being your motivator, being the person who listens. Like this is like business is frustrating, right? So when we have a business, there's a lot that goes through our mind. Sometimes you just need someone who, who will be there to talk to you, but also reflective, right? So listen to you, but reflect back the things that you need to hear to motivate you and push you to the next level. And this is something that I've noticed with a lot of my clients who come into my consulting session right they come into my consulting session but before we start talking about you know the business they have you know they're talking about the, the mental side of why they're not able to do all the things they do perhaps family like I even had a session where I was able to just let my client just take the first 10 minutes and just talk about all the things happening in life before actually getting to the business side of things so my coaching will be based on my course where I'm teaching you this system that I've created but then I do have these sessions to kind of help you as you're going through so you can talk about what you're learning talk about what you're noticing in your business talk about how your you know what your numbers are looking like since you've started implementing this system so that's gonna be one side of the coaching but then I'm also gonna have the coaching where you could just sign up for these sessions and I'm just gonna have like um, three to six sessions where we kind of go through this either changing your mindset or if you're a person who you're like I don't want to be on camera helping you to get over that and start getting on camera little by little so that's what the coaching is going to be about and as I said I am a certified coach through well coaches um, and so I want to start putting that to use in the right way so those are gonna be the coaching sessions but I'm also gonna have the consulting sessions if you just want to come and talk business brainstorm with me those are going to be the consulting sessions. if you just need a strategy so you have a product that you're going to launch you need a strategy for that that's the consulting um, and then I'm also going to have the course which is going to teach you my strategy my marketing system and then I'm going to have a separate coaching that walks you through that marketing system hope that made sense so that's what you can look out for in January just giving you a preview of what's to come in January and as I said that is going to be over at work session so I'm gonna put the link to that channel up here um, that's gonna be in January when I'm gonna start posting videos on that channel but if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now go do so <laughs> so again that's gonna be work session I also already have the Instagram set up. If you want to head over and follow work session on Instagram, um, I have the domain purchase, but I haven't gone through and done anything on the website yet. So don't even go look for that. But the website's going to be up. The videos are going to start getting posted on there in January. Everything, everything, everything for work session is going to launch in January. So this is like a soft launch. I'm just telling you all because you're my OG audience. <laughs> I'm just telling you about what's to come for the marketing side of things in January. So lots to offer to you. As you all know, I'm getting my MBA. And so this is what I really, really want to do. Um, and it's, I'm just excited for what's to come. And I'm excited for what's to come in your business once you're able to tap into all the value that I have to offer. I believe that was the last question. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this last order and then wrap up this video. So this customer ordered a couple of sticky notes, but she also ordered, um, a custom so a custom stationary item is something that I personalize for you so she just wanted it to say um, her name and then to-do list so I've actually done a lot of these since opening my shop at one point this was my best seller right now I'm not selling as much of the sticky notes just because before I used to sell one for it so if you just buy like a sticky note like this it's typically six dollars but if you buy a custom sticky note I typically sell it for um, like a little over ten dollars but what I found was that it's a lot for me to just like if you come and you purchase one it takes me two weeks to get it and ship it out to you and so I just felt like it was a lot of my time so what I did was I actually took away the one 
and now I just have a set of five that's $30. So you can get five personalized sticky notes for $30. And so since doing that, I've noticed a drop in sales. Like people are more likely to come and purchase one than they are to come and purchase five. And so I, I did notice a drop in sales, but that's okay just because it takes me a little bit to get to my computer, personalize the item, and it's just for one. You know, although it's four dollars more, it's not four dollars more that's worth it when I'm you know crunching for time. Um, but I did leave the notepads up because I do sell these notepads, I believe, for like 20 or like 19 or something. I don't remember, but <laughs> I didn't take the note, the one notepad down, which is why she was able to purchase the notepad. She also ordered two of my get to the point sticky notes. These have been bestsellers and these are staying, you guys. I'm keeping these. There's a, another variation that has a lovely black lady at the side of this. <laughs> so I have two of these um, that she ordered. She also ordered two of these, the ones that I told you guys were never a bestseller, but lately they've been selling like hotcakes. Um, so I believe when I first purchased these, I purchased like 10 and they just like sat there. Like I was just like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have made this. <laughs> maybe this was one of those bad designs that I probably should have never made, but now they're selling. Um, so I don't know. I think it's also because I have this 50% sale going on. So people are just like, yeah, I'll just bring the money up and buy this, whatever. Um, but either way. And then she also purchased, um, hopefully I have some of these. So she purchased the melanated and motivated, but in white. So hopefully I have that. Cause I feel like th this might be sold out now. I actually don't know if I have any of Oh, she purchased the last one, thank God. So melanated, motivated in white. And I think these are also staying. And then why does it not say sold out? I need to check and make sure that this is sold out, this variation. And then she also purchased my I Am Sticky Notes. Oh. And so she purchased the I Am Sticky Notes, two of them. I had to get another one. So two I am sticky notes. Um, and I had to get another one just because there was a shift in Vista print. So the first time I had this, this is how I made them, which is how I wanted them with the borders very wide. But then they had a shift in Vista print and then I got an order and the borders were kind of in. So it's still cute and I still like it, but I try not to mix and match them for customers. So if I'm giving you two of these, I want both of them to look the same as opposed to giving you like this and then this. So that's just my preference. Um, so I'm gonna pack these up. And I'm actually gonna put this one, I thought I was gonna put this in a box, but I actually decided not to put it in a box. Um, and so this is the last order we're gonna pack in this video and then I'm gonna go ahead to drop these off at the post office. And if you have any other questions for me, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I try my best to go through the comments and then sometimes when I just see the same question over and over, I'm like, let me just make a Q&A video which is what I did today. So hopefully this wasn't too boring. You got to chill with me a little bit, pack a couple orders, and I hope I answered the most important questions that you all have been asking. And so I'm gonna double check this order, wrap it all up, and then call it a day. So one, melanated, motivated. Two, get to the point. Two, I don't remember what this quote says, and <laughs> two of this and her personalized notepad here goes my favorite part and this is literally how we're gonna end the video so if you like this video if you watched it even just a little bit of it go ahead and hit that subscribe button can't wait to see you in my other videos and bye <laughs>